Hey, what's up everyone? So, that was a pretty wild clip from CSCS Time Attack, uh, I believe in 2017. You can hear the old supercharger still on my car. So it is an old clip, but I figured with, with what we're talking about today, that it's gonna suit uh, the style, you know, wheel to wheel racing. And I believe there hasn't been that many wheel to wheel TSXs out there. I mean, we've had M&M Racing, uh, Five Ziggin, real-time racing and more lately we still have Spoon that's still doing a wheel-to-wheel -wheel and time attack TSX which is pretty good but other than that uh, I don't have any plan for myself to do this Grid Life Touring Cup but we're going to be talking about a car that is going to be doing the Grid Life Touring Cup and that's going to be uh, James Houghton with the time attack Integra he's actually building a TSX and he's going to be competing in Grid Life Touring Cup so with that said, I believe Grid Life Turn Cup started in 2018, so last year, and it's their whole new series with the whole new rule book. So you cannot just take a time attack car and throw it into the Turn Cup. Uh, you're probably not going to be in the best uh, category for that. Uh, for example, if I wanted to make my car go into that Grid Life Turn Cup, I would have to make my car either a lot less power or add weight on it to make it 6,000 pounds because it has a power to weight ratio in the class which has to be 12 to 1. So James Houghton, so I've known James for almost four years you can say. I first messaged him when I started getting into time attack. Just about small things to do with how to build a front wheel drive time attack car. And obviously with him being the best at what he's doing right now with the front wheel drive, I figured that he'd be the best person to talk to. Uh, since then, me and him have been messaging back and forth, you know, we've met up, come by the house, we've talked about pretty much time attack cars ever since then. And he's helped me so much with getting started and continuing on with my TSX that it's pretty good that when he's building his TSX, he was able to also reach out back to me and for once, you know, somehow I'm able to help him when it comes to a time attack car, which is pretty cool. I saw him at the show, uh, the video I posted last week was about the Northern uh, Speed Time Attack show. Uh, it was a pretty good show, had a lot of fast cars. Probably the only time that I've been to a show where both cars around me had more horsepower. I believe that Evo had around uh, 700 and the Infinity had 600. The Skyline beside that had 1000. The two uh, E46 behind me had I believe around six or seven hundred so it's not something that happens often where I'm surrounded by cars that have a lot more horsepower but it was a pretty good show for people that like time tag that like race cars and like actual performance bills and not just a bag I don't know Jetta with some rims uh, yeah anyway so at the show I was able to talk to James briefly about what he's doing with the TSX and what we're gonna be seeing next year so here's that a uh, quick clip about that so I recently got a 04 TSX I bought it off of a guy we knew in the States friend of friends of friends um, it's gonna be a build for the Grid Life Touring Cup series in 2020 uh, we have some exciting things coming for us new changes we're working with K2 to uh, develop some new products for it so they've never had a a K2 two-way or any sort of K2 line of suspension um, in their for their TSX line. Uh, so they're going to be coming out with that. They're going to be coming out with some new spherical options for the front lower and front upper suspension, um, front control arms. And uh, yeah, so those will, those will be really cool. We're going to use a JDM TSX motor, or it's not really a TSX motor, but a JDM three low K24A. Um, we're going to do a mix and match uh, on the transmission for it, using parts from various from different, different uh, you know, Honda Acuras to try to create the closest uh, you know, ratio as possible without having to buy like a full close ratio 1 through 6 setup. Um, yeah. are, are any of the TSX parts from uh, K2 and is it going to just be for yours or is it going to be on the market? No, it's everything that they everything that they're going to work with for us is going to be available on the market. On the market? Yeah, so it'll be really cool. And, for yeah, for sure. Upper control yeah. arms with sphericals to be able to buy just a front lower control arm that's already got all sphericals in it and stuff like that, yeah. right? Because in the market currently, I don't think there is anything like that. No, so, definitely not. Uh, yeah. So that'll be really cool. All right, so now that we heard from James about his TSX that he's building for Grid Life Touring Cup, I'm pretty sure the first thing that I'm going to be excited for, other than his car, 
is those K-Tune spherical bushings because right now I'm still using my OEM ones which are over 200,000 kilometers old and it would be good to have a nice upgrade available which is close by, just go by and pick it up without having to worry about anything. So that's one thing that we can uh, you know, look forward to next year, some brand new TSX parts for the coilovers, the K2 coilovers I believe he said, and the bushings. And I'm pretty sure further on as he's building this uh, TSX for Good Life Touring Cup that there are going to be more uh, manufacturers and aftermarket suppliers that are willing to help him out and build one-offs or market more towards the TSX to help him out. And other than that, I do believe when I did speak to him, um, that was off cam, that he is going to aim for 2,700 pounds in the TSX. Uh, I know there's another guy, myself, and maybe some guys overseas that I don't know about, but we have been able to get down to 2,700 pounds. The difference is he's going to make it 2,700 pounds with him in it. And I mean, James is not a big guy, but he's probably around 160, 170, maybe He's doing some more of his workout routine to get less, but that means the TSX is going to be around 2550, which I think is pretty awesome. Well guys, other than that, uh, if you are going to Grid Life, you should be able to see me out there next year. The plan was to go this year and obviously the car broke down, so I wasn't able to make it out. Hopefully I can go out next year. I've been talking to a few CSCS guys and we're definitely going to go down to Michigan. That's uh, you know not close by, but it's on the radar. And they also told me that the same distance to that Michigan track and the Ohio track aren't too bad. It's not that much of a difference. So if I can, you know, drive down with a bunch of guys, I might make it out to maybe two or three Grid Life events. On top of that, still doing my CSCS events here. And now for sure, I'm going to enter in the uh, Northern Speed uh, Time Attack series. So that would be three series that I have to uh, look forward to next year and hopefully everything works out and the car is able to do everything. So, so yeah, once again, thanks for watching the video. You know, like, subscribe, comment what you guys think about this Grid Life TSX coming to life next year and let me know what you look forward to seeing about it the most. Thanks.